Make no mistake, St. Joseph's head coach Phil Martelli revels in the accolades cascading Jameer Nelson's way. He celebrates Nelson's spot as a National Player of the Year finalist, his selection to the Atlantic 10 Silver Anniversary team, and so much more. But for the coach, that is not what he will miss the most. This is a unique, once-in-a-lifetime person, not just a basketball player. He is, he is every bit as good a person as he is a basketball player. And I miss, and I will miss, as much him sitting around the office at 10 o'clock in the morning just laughing and talking as I am him playing against St. Bonaventure or LaSalle or Temple or Xavier or, or whomever. He is that unique as an individual. And why not? Martelli's been there with Jameer since Chester High School when his team won the Pennsylvania State title in 2000. And since Nelson committed to Martelli, the respect has been mutual based on trust and faith. Well, he promised me, you know, that uh, you know, I was going to uh, contribute to the team right away which I did, you know, got the chance to start and you know, kind of seize the opportunity. And uh, just allowing me to have fun, you know, with, with great, great guys. Nelson's ascension to the very top of the college basketball world has been a daily revelation. Yes, he will have a sack full of St. Joseph's records before he leaves, but that is by no means his motivation. I think the other thing is that he's done it with class and dignity. In a day and age where everybody wants to be noticed, this kid would like to go out and play basketball and leave. And if at the end of the day you realize that he was the best player and he is the best player in college basketball today, so be it. But that's not why he's there. He's there for his team to win and for your team to lose. He's not going to do it with his mouth. He's going to do it with his play. Well, I don't really necessarily, I really don't look up to individual goals. I have a record here to set as far as team goes. That's the most wins in school history. and that's. My focus is to win games, you know. Points are gonna come, steals, assists, everything is gonna come if you're winning. Everybody's gonna be happy if you're winning, so I'm not gonna be happy with scoring points and losing. As long as I'm winning, I'm fine. And that's why Nelson opted to return for his senior season. A decision last spring that has made this winter a magic carpet ride. His decision, like his game, was mature, poised, and sound. I'm not out here starving for money. You know, my family's providing me with everything I need, and. Uh, that's it. I knew we were going to have a good team and we you know, become something special here at St. Joe's. So I really based my decision on you know, family needs and you know, school. Like I said, I wanted to get my degree just, just to have fun. I, who knows what, I, what would have been happening right now if I was in the NBA. So all that remains for Nelson is to take these Hawks as far as they can go, to lead with more wins than any other player in Hawk history, and maybe a whole lot more and to stay true to himself and his vision of a successful life. Who knows what's going to happen you know, a couple years from now, what I'm going to think about 10 years later and how I'm going to see my teammates 10 years later in this team. And hopefully I can say, well, that, you know, I played on one of the best teams ever, St. Joe's.